Welcome to the ST stand here at Electronica 2016, where Gerard Cronin here is going to talk me through this smart industry demo of what is, in effect, the factory of the future. Hi, Chris. Yes. So smart industry for ST is about factories and workplaces that are more efficient, more flexible, and therefore more productive. It's about also about making them more environmentally friendly and making them safer for the people that work there. Our factory starts already outside the factory with semiconductor technology enabling people who arrive to charge their cars, for example, using these smart chargers. Here, when the battery is full, the charger sends a message to the owner of the car on the smartphone. We also have the benefit of smart lighting. These lights detect the level of ambient light. They detect the presence of, of, of human beings, and then they adapt the lighting according to that. So they can maximize the energy saving then and also maximize the, the lighting for the individual users. We then move inside the factory, people go through through the door where they use an NFC badge to come into the, the lobby of the factory. Uh, you've got something up your sleeve though, because there's nothing new about that technology there. No, indeed. So when, when they've come into the, the, the lobby, they then can enter the smart office area. But to get into the smart office area, they need to go to a facial recognition platform. This facial recognition is powered by a microcontroller, which runs very efficient algorithms. This, this solution with a microcontroller is much more cost effective and less complex than what was used in the past. When the person has been recognized, they, are, they can move into the smart office area. In the smart office area, they get information such as if they've been assigned a desk for the day, if they have a meeting room, and they get information to guide them over there. So this smart office is also where we receive the manufacturing orders. These come in and are automatically transferred to the factory. Our factory takes a baseline product and customizes it according to the, the, the needs of the user. These, these baseline products actually contain an NFC dynamic tag, and this tag at the beginning of the manufacturing process, gets all the information about how to customize the product and where it's going to be delivered to. So your technology not only tells the factory what to make, but then where to send it. Exactly. So once it's been programmed, it goes to the manufacturing process. It's processed according to what is inside the, the, the tag. The information is read out. Also, the information of how it's been processed is put back inside the tag. And this enables you to have the, life, the lifetime history of the product in there as well. If we look a little bit at the robots here, these robots are powered by highly efficient drive electronics, they have embedded intelligence, they have configurable electronics inside. But the important thing is that these are actually embedded in the robots themselves and not in a separate cabinet. So this is not the case in most factories today. And this leads to significant savings in space, in wiring, and in cost efficiency. What about safety, which is uh, you know, a non-negotiable in factories today, let alone the future? Exactly. These machines also contain a number of technologies that make them safer. For example, integrated galvanic isolation makes them safer and makes smaller, more compact electronics. They also have functional feature safety built in. And these features basically ensure that the machines fail in a way that is not dangerous for users. We also have things like proximity sensing. For example, we have over here, we simulate a person approaching the machine. The proximity sensor detect the person and the machine stops. These machines also have microcontrollers and sensors which measure the critical parameters in the factory, such as vibration, temperature, flow, etc. All this information is then sent to a central control where it's processed and the relevant information is uploaded to the cloud. This allows, for example, the machine manufacturers to give optimal advice on maintenance of the machines thanks to big data analysis over their whole pool of customers. What about data safety, though? Because if this is in the cloud, you make yourself a target for hackers. Exactly, exactly. So that's a really important point. All of the machines here need to be have their data secured, and all of the communications needs to be protected. So each of these machines will contain a secure microcontroller that protects the data and secures all the communications, whether those communications are inside the factory between machines or whether they're, they're going outside up to the cloud. Finally, what about power management? Power management is a one of the, the core fundamentals, of course, of, of, of the factory. And here, thanks to the latest generations of power semiconductor technologies, we achieve reactive, configurable, real-time power management. For example, microcontrollers enable you to get millisecond level changes of power curves and optimize your factory for that. And then the same technologies that we've been, been seeing here can, of course, be used in the warehouse. They can be used for smart lighting, they can be used for environmental control, they can be used for real-time tracking, optimized shipping, and so on. So the entire manufacturing process, from arriving at work to products being shipped, you're there supporting companies all the way. Exactly. Whatever the need is, we have a solution. Gerard, thanks for your time. Thank you, Chris.